All right, we're gonna head back down to my car, because I think, what time is it? 10.40, shoot. All right, not the best lighting, but. <sighs> you know, I have so many juicy topics I wanna talk about, but I won't get to those until like much later. Because I don't feel comfortable talking about it, or with the biggest one that obviously I always talk about, I don't think I could do it justice like right now. Like, first of all, I think I'd want to do it in the daytime in a less noisy environment, I guess. But also, oh my god, <sighs> impromptu camera using is really loud. Well, maybe I'll just treat it like a podcast a little bit. Because I don't really care. No one's going to read my... Or no one, much like how I don't say anything that people read my like long, overblown Facebook posts. People aren't going to watch my... Well, people probably aren't going to watch my video posts either because of how shaky I am. That's why I got this little stick thing. But people don't necessarily hear my, my speech. And then again, surprisingly enough, a lot of people do. I think that's one of the biggest surprises in my life. You know, I've never been, okay, I've always been, sorry, a performer. But, like, I've never felt like my stuff is a high quality. But it's out there. And that's, cool. I want it to be out there because it's just me. I want it out there for me. I mean, like, that's the pure aesthetic of an artist. At least I think it is. I'm not an artist. But just to express yourself and feel like whatever people's judgment or interpretations of it is, you know, whatever theirs is. And then here's mine, you know. But just to have it expressed and out there, it's a very beautiful thing. I wish that, you know, part of the reason why I want to do this vlog thing is, excuse me, is because I can't, I can't draw. For, I've always loved animation, and I wish I could animate. Um, I'm not. I mean, I can sing, but I'm not a great singer. I'm not a musician at all. Um, I can dance a little bit, but you know, you see videos of that, and uh, <laughs> I'm not good either. And. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of there's plenty of evidence of me performing. I've sung, I've danced, and I write. But it's not quite to the level that I think I can get it at. Maybe it's because I don't practice enough. Maybe it's because I keep bouncing from thing to thing. And currently, I'm just kind of short on time. Or, no, not time motivation I think I think the coolest thing is when you meet somebody who who's just die hard for what they love that is absolutely the greatest thing you know like yeah there's nerds that love their thing but I think not necessarily fans of the thing because sometimes I hate fans let me rephrase I hate fans but I love people that are passionate about skills and talents. Things that they can do, not things that they like. I mean, maybe that's not entirely true either, you know? Because I'm a fan of stuff and I love talking about things that I'm fans with to other people. I'm just a hater. <laughs> but going back to my original point, I adore people that have a skill and a talent that they nurture and they, they express. You know, I, I'm friends with a lot of musicians and singers and artists, and it's it's a great thing to see their craft that you know sometimes they don't make a big deal about. And I absolutely am like, I wish I knew how to do this. And I mean, obviously, you don't get there just by wishing. You've got to sit there and work your butt off to be as good as anybody and trying to find good lighting here is impossible oh my god 
I mean, then again, looking at me is probably not the best thing right now. I'm always breaking out. I'm getting better at that though. I'm gonna eat. I've been eating less, and well, I'm gonna make a separate video about what my quote unquote gym has been, because it's not even close to a gym. But the thing is, it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do one probably tomorrow. I hope. Um, Ah, it just feels really nice outside, actually. I'm just gonna hang out, like, if, see the... Yeah, no. Uh, but I guess that's the coolest thing about university and college, where everybody's talented, everybody is smart, everybody has something that they want to nurture. And, I mean, I'm old now. Like, well, not old old, but I'm well beyond where I shouldn't have to like live here in this kind of culture anymore. But there's a distinct there's a distinct lifestyle between a collegiate and post post grad. And I'm technically supposed to be in post grad and I really like that. And that's the be like during your collegiate years really where you can express and nurture your talents because that's when you're the most free, honestly. I don't think I've, I mean, I, I think I've been pretty good in terms of scheduling, but also in terms of what my life is as a single father, as someone who works in education, where I have a great schedule, but the time still doesn't feel like it's enough, that I want to do everything I want to do, it's, uh, it's tough. That's another thing I adore about those people that are really talented, that they found time to, to sit there and perfect their craft, or at least practice on it, and get good enough that they get to express themselves. Maybe it'll just take, you know, some people are just naturally talented and some aren't, but no matter what, you gotta practice, right? <sighs> and it just feels it also probably feels like I think I'm gonna go down like one flight of stairs and switch topics each time because I think I've run out of things to say about this one. <laughs>